have a discussion. You know, he wanted to discuss Sahil Bukhari. I, I wanted to discuss Sahil Bukhari. I said, look, let's discuss it because you worship Sahil Bukhari, right? Let's let's talk about its authenticity. You prove to me Sahil Bukhari to be authentic, right? And let's have that discussion. You you feel that since I don't know what I'm talking about, it should be easy. Like, come on, like if you say to me, oh, Mufti, I want to talk about the Maliki Madhab, and you think, well, he doesn't know, or I think, look, you don't know much about it. It should be easy to have, a, you know, to just destroy you in a, in a conversation because I know that I clearly would know all these things. So similarly, he claims that I don't know what I'm talking about on Bukhari. I said, let's come on, mind trap. Let's have a, a, a chat. Let's do this. Yeah, I mean, I think yeah. he's being too petty about coming on to your show. Maybe if you guys have it like on a neutral platform, uh, what, might what is look? Listen, what is this? It, I'm not going to attack him. You know, on, on a virtual show, I'm not going to slap him, am I? Like, I'm not going to attack him. I'm not going to harm him. At any point, he can come on and say a disclaimer that if I feel you're going to do this, I'll disconnect. He just has to press that button, disconnect, and he's off. Like, what? what's the... I'm a child. He's publicly written, you're a child, I will humiliate you. This is on his Twitter account. It's there. Look, what's... I'm not going to... I guarantee... I'm not going to start swearing at him, am I? He's not going to come on there. I'm going to go, you're effing, blimey, blah, 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 blah. He knows... And I, he knows I'm not going to do any of that. I've done 40 episodes of Mind Trap. I've never done that with anyone. You come on. You prove to me. I will let you talk. And you t t tell me... How prove to me Sahil Bukhari? The truth is this: it's like Jonathan Brown. He tried to challenge me, and then he publicly had to state the truth. He said that, the, in all honesty, I'm underskilled in this. I, I don't have the knowledge or the research to be able to speak about Sahil Bukhari like that. That's why I can't accept your dialogue on it. Yeah. At least Jonathan Brown was being honest. He said that on Facebook because he publicly decided to attack me. You know, one of the problems these people, I'll tell you what it is. Look, these people look at me and they see some guy sitting there. You know, he's got a chain, he's got an earring, he's got this goatee, spiky hair. What would this guy possibly know? So they, it gives them this false, <laughs> this kind of false hope that they can go out and just say something. So it's like Jonathan Brown came out and said, ha, oh, you know, Mufti Abu Layth, I listened to his thing. First of all, it's not uh, Bunani, it's Banani. He got <laughs> his name wrong. And then I was like, acha? Mere chache? I, so I, I, I took a screenshot of the actual, of the Malikia Tabakat and I put it on Facebook. I said, it is Bunani. But just be, because I said, there's actually 14 different scholars that share that name. And the ones you're referring to are linked with the uh, from the Maghrib, and this is from Tunis. It's Bonana. But you didn't know that, did you? You just assumed I wouldn't know. So I said to him that because he kept saying, I don't know what I'm talking about, about Sahil Bukhari. And when I said about the manuscripts and I said all these things and, you know, the, whether it was the Nuskha Sultania or whether it was Yunini or whether it was all of these. They said, oh, he doesn't know what he's talking about. Uh, Mufti doesn't know. So I thought, okay. I said, come on, let's have a dialogue. And when I started sharing my information, and I've got a whole Bukhari Gate video, I say, prove to me, go on. How difficult is it to prove to me Farabri is authentic? Just show it in a book and job done. I shut up. Right? So, but you can't do it. You can't do it from somebody who actually knew Farabri. You can't do it. You can only do it from people who come hundreds of years later. Right? So, so it's easy to shut me up, to show me that I'm wrong. Now, then he at least, okay, the decency he had is because so many people pestered Jonathan Brown on his Facebook post saying, look, why don't you just have a dialogue with Mufti Abu Laith? Then he openly on his post said, look, the truth is I don't have the research in this field. So take care. But these mm -hmm. other people like, you know, Gangu Teli and these people, they, the truth is they, they're not skilled in this. They just know how to debate Shia. They just yeah, know exactly, how to quote yeah. Shia stuff and argue with the Shia. And, the, okay, the Shia thing is not my special. Like, if you ask me, I'll talk about Shia uh, resources and their kind of, I mean, their sources and their books. And it's not my specialty. I don't have the research in Shia texts. Okay, so I'm just going to be honest with you. Look, I don't have the research in that. Now, I, I would have to learn. And I'm not really interested in learning about all that kind of stuff. So so I'm just being honest. Like, if it's not my forte, I'm not going to get involved. So 
but with these people, because everything rests on Sahil Bukhari, and obviously it shook their world. <laughs> that Bukhari rests on this bichara Frabri, and Frabri is neither here, neither there. <laughs> you know, he's just he's just been like glorified for no particular reason. Nobody actually vouched for him. And and I just said, look, bring me one person that knew Frabri that said he's reliable. And I will everything right here, just I accept what you say. You, you cannot bring me a single person that knew Frabri and could vouch for him. And yet this whole dogma of Islam that you make the Quran go around Bukhari is built on the back of the, you know, on the shoulders of this one man, one man, one man. And look what he's done to this ummah. I'm mm -hmm. not saying it's his fault. I'm not saying it's his fault. He just did what anyone would have done. You know, he, 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 for him, it was just an investment. He was part of this. He, he was involved in the project. Whether he got it wrong, right? Whether he got it wrong, whether he was reliable, whether he's unreliable, we don't know because we don't know anything about him. We just know he's this guy who had a bunch of students and his claim to fame was this Sahil Bukhari. That's his claim to fame. You know, well, wouldn't you jump with fame? You know, if something's going to bring you money, it's going to bring you fame. Look at all these scholars. Somebody said to me a moment ago, look, Mufti, be honest. If you wore a thobe and you wore a hat and you did this, would you not get more followers? I said, I, I'm certain that they would exponentially grow if I was to do that. And, and this is and he's asking me surprised because the truth is most people out there, if something will bring them some value, they would take it. You know, it's capital at the end of the day. If And when it's a commodity, they would wear a thobe. They, and then they get later on caught out for being fake. Now, mm -hmm. Farabri, this thing brought him fame. This brought him money, brought him wealth. It brought him status. I'm not saying he was an evil person. I'm not saying that. He was just like every other human who's, who saw an opportunity and took it. But nobody told other people to be stupid. You know, just because a person t had an opportunity and you took it, you don't need to be blind. You can still mm -hmm. think, okay, wait a minute. Hmm, this is this is a bit dubious. <laughs> but yeah, you know, to mm. me, to be fair for uh, Farid Al Khawaja, however you say his name, I feel like he's kind of tied up um, to an extent because a large part of his audience is like hardline uh, hardliners, you know, hardline Salafis. So he tries a lot. He tries really hard to please his audience. He can't. He doesn't really have any flexibility yeah. when it comes to why he shares his content. I, I you know, I, I agree with you 100%, Ahmed. And this isn't about, by the way, what I'm saying isn't about him. Uh, this is generally, and I think, you know what you've said, you've hit the nail on the head, that that is exactly the case with most of these preachers. The, most of the preachers, ironically, the crowd that follows them actually controls them. It's weird mm -hmm. because the yeah. crowd... It's you like Sheikh Asrar. He's not Salafi. Sheikh Asrar, he's from the Brilvi community. Yeah, he's you know same thing. You know when when we had this thing with Sheikh Asrar, when we were off camera, he was absolutely decent with me. You know, very friendly, cracking jokes, doing all of this. As soon as he put his camera on, obviously our camera was still rolling. <laughs> <laughs> we just haven't released we just haven't released our footage right but obviously his camera when he put his camera on he'd, he'd go all serious he wouldn't crack jokes he'd be very anti me but as soon as the camera he, he stopped his camera he was very friendly he was like oh don't you remember we were this we met up in damascus don't you remember we did this we did that and uh, oh yeah man mufti mufti you know but otherwise would he even call me mufti no off camera, I mean, on camera, he'd never call me Mufti. He'd be like Abu Layth, you know, but, uh, but off camera, absolutely friendly because he doesn't have a personal problem with me, even though he disagrees with my views, which is fine. He even thinks, I'm pretty certain, you see, a lot of these people say this. They say, oh, yeah, you know, Mufti is the kind of person would like to hang out with, but, you know, it's just his views. Sheikh Asrar was messaging me at that time, was saying, oh, yeah, you know, how about we hang out more and we do this? And then he went on his lives. He was saying, I'm a deviant. And then I exposed that. I said, look, oh, look, he messages me in the morning saying, hey, we should hang out. And then in the evening, he's doing a public speech saying I'm a deviant and a Dajjal. Now, obviously, then he got offended and blocked me. 
<laughs> but my point was that look these people are only doing this because of the pressure because the following expects that of them that the following says you have to be in a certain way you know i remember years ago yeah i was on uh this kind of platform about it was called something like uh Multaka or something it was a WhatsApp pl uh, platform. I think it still exists, but they used to. This is years back when it probably now it's m much bigger. But at that time, it had maybe fifty people on there. But it had all these sheikhs on there. You know, these Sheikh Haytham Al Haddad from the UK. Uh, sheikh, uh, he's a Salafi, as you know. It had um, Sheikh Abdur. What's his name? Abdur Rahman Mangera, who's a Mufti Hanafi. Sorry, Mufti. <laughs> I'm not sure. They had Sheikh Zahir on there. They had all these other people on there. Do you know, they had a meeting. Yeah, They would hold these meetings. I went to the meeting because I was on there as well. Obviously, they hated, people hated me on there. But at that time, because I never had Monday nights with Mufti, my views, maybe all my views weren't known. And my views were still developing. But these, when we were at this place, and it's got loads of these du'at and all these people on there, they're all friends. They all, you know, eating together or they're talking together pray together <laughs> you know massaging each other's egos which is fine which is fine taking photos individually yeah i said to them sure i said how about you know such and such or whoever they were that organized it takes a group photo of you guys of you guys even if you don't want me in it takes a photo of you guys and shares it Ah, oh, no, 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 no. They go, and I said, but I don't understand why. Even Sheikh Zahir, all these people, they said, no, 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 no. Oh. Why, why, why not, Sheikh? They said, oh, because, you know, our followings are not that mature yet. They're not. I said, but isn't this, you'd show unity. You know, you've got a Brilvi. You had like uh, Molana uh, Gul there from uh, representing the Brilvi Sunni community, who I respect. A lot, by the way. And you had, so you had uh, Brailvi Ulama there, you had Diobandi, you had Salafi, you had these other du'a. I said, this is a perfect example to show unity. And they, not so much the Brailvis, they, they were fine. The others, Sheikh Haytham, I remember him being very vocal. No, 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 we can't do that. Mufti Mangera saying, no, no. Sheikh Zahir saying, no, no, no. We can't do this because our followers can't can't see this yet they're not ready for it they're not mature enough but this is the problem isn't it that, that you're just feeding because you're afraid that your congregation are gonna you know disown you yeah but yeah, yeah. i've i've gone on for a while right uh, ahmed it's been an absolute pleasure man uh, yeah, you for your time. great evening wherever you are man right. Salam right people